my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Penultimate race on the program is the seventh race, a handicap for fillies and mares at the 68 level up the lane at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, as you can see by the uh, diagram on your screen. And uh, a thousand meters, 10 past four penultimate event. To begin the discussion, uh, my go to or my uh, um, first choice is, is a horse that's six. Uh, six around six to one when I first when I last checked uh, for Rugger Lover and um, Rugger Lover is a water winter filly for for Tinny Prince Lou Sean Veal um, blinkers have been fitted in in his la in her last couple of starts and they're starting to have the desired effect uh, the merit rating uh, you know she, she raced off a 72 last time she still is a 72 the average merit rating is a 63 whereas the average rating last time was a 74 so I just think there's scope for this filly to get a bit closer. She was only a length off La Premiere last time with valid excuses. It says in the official computer form that she hurt her head. Um, she beat Mary's Greenlight Sheld a couple of starts ago. And Mary's Greenlight's been holding um, his or her own up on the high felt. So I don't think that's anything to be sneezed at. Um, a difficult race, as most of the races are today. But I quite like this horse, Rugger Lover. I think he, he, he could be a, she could be a massive runner. What's nice to see is that the Tinny Prince Lou stable and a few of the smaller stables, as we call them, they're getting an opportunity with a few extra runners. And it's nice to see the guys from Gauteng supporting them and sending them a few runners down. And as you mentioned, the first run here, which was at Scottsville, Obviously, she attended to vet, couldn't find anything amiss, so we draw a line through that. And the last run is the run that we'll dissect behind Le Premier. I think that's a stronger field. The average rating was a 74. So looking at the majority of the field, number four, Rugger Lover, certainly going to have the supporters. A one-time winner, and that did come on the turf. So number four, Rugger Lover, at around about six and seven to one, certainly worth throwing into the equation. And just having a look at the betting in fact has shortened nine to two now so there is love for number four rugger lover nine to two from six to one so the early money is there for rugger lover so judged on that last run behind le premier every opportunity let's take some swingers and exactors with my ruffy which is number 10 palm breeze from the inform mike miller stable third run after a lengthy absence drops to a 67 in the handicap once upon a time was an 85 and I'm not quite sure what went wrong in the penultimate run and last time. Showed speed and then just faded right out of contention. They are dropping Palm Breeze down to the 1000 meter trip. If she brings her A game, she'll just about win this. If you go back in her form, five lengths to get in the queue. And I mean, if you had to put get in the queue in this field, she'll win by 10. So I'm gonna go number 10, Palm Breeze. That is my value selection at 12, 14 to one is my first pick. Number four, Rugger Lover will be my second selection. And then after that, you can pretty much take your chances. Maybe number five, Flying the Star, off a good victory beating Swiss Paradise. And then you look at a horse like number three, Sky Cafe. But for me, the value is number 10, Palm Breeze. At her best, she'll go very close to winning. And number four, Rugger Lover, judged on her last run, you like her. So maybe some exactors and swingers, Warren? Absolutely. And uh, they are, at the time of recording, say, attractive prices. So uh, they could, um, you know, if they arrive, they could pay handsomely. I'm glad you touched on Sky Cafe because I thought she would be a, a, a big runner, but it's been four thirty-four days since her last win. But she's so consistent; she earns just about every time. The stables in mustard form, and there's lots to like about Sky Cafe. Even number one French Princess could lurk into the back end of quartets, uh, drawn on the inside up the lane at Hollywood Bet Scottsville with Musi Yeni in the saddle, who has won on this filly before so that's it those are the numbers but the main numbers uh, for me four rugger lover for sheldon 10 palm breeze and um, uh, some boxed exactors and swingers could be the order of the race hi i'm trevor 
the CEO of the same foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.